everybody will fishing adventures guide service here in central texas it's fall and fall is a great time to fish a spinnerbait so let me show you my uh pro guide tips for increasing your chances of landing a fish on a spinnerbait so for starters i prefer in the fall i prefer spinnerbaits between 3 16 of an ounce up to half an ounce um, i'm usually fishing shallow water so i stick to the smaller sizes usually and i want to mimic a bait fish um, this white with silver tinsel is a good choice. Also chartreuse, chartreuse and white. I like silver blades on uh, clear days, especially if it's windy. And I like gold blades in almost every other condition, gold, brass, copper. Um, I like a willow leaf on the back end. And depending on the water clarity, if it's super clear, I'll go with double willow leaves. In most of the situations, a Colorado blade. First thing I do, I wanna choose one with a little bit of a longer hook shank. This is a, a fairly long hook shank. It's about an inch and a half long, so that's good. Then I'm going to trim the skirt. And yes, I have a trash can down here. To just behind the hook. And I don't care if it's nice and neat. I just want it to be trimmed. So there we go. Kind of raggedy looking, like if I gave my kids a haircut. So next, I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to bend the hook so the point of the hook is in line with the head of the jig let's bend that down be go slow and careful try to make sure you stay in line stay midline and you don't want to go too much you don't want to stress the hook too much do it right at the base bend it down down you want to bend it until the tip of the hook is a basic so the tip of the hook is basically in a straight line with the head of the uh, spinnerbait. What this does is, for me at least, it eliminates the need for a trailer hook in almost every situation. If you look at the orientation of the hook as a fish comes up after it, it's more likely that that hook's going to get embedded in the side or the top of the fish's mouth. If, in other words, the fish, if he nips at it, the combination of the short skirt and the bent down hook, you're going to increase your hookup ratio. I will generally use a smaller curly tail style grub, in this case a Goliath's grub, and I will thread it on like I'm threading it on weedless. And of course you want the tail of the grub to be pointing down. Impale it on, pull it through, turn it, push it up on the hook shank and then push it all the way back through. You're not making this spinnerbait weedless at all. It's weedless enough as it is. You're making the trailer look more natural. There we go. That's the finished package. I generally like to have a trailer in a contrasting color to whatever the primary color of the spinnerbait is. If I was going with a dark spinnerbait, I'd use a chartreuse or white trailer. In this case, a white or chartreuse, I'm gonna use a trailer that might mimic something that's naturally swimming in the lake like a bluegill. Pro tip, increase your spinnerbait hookups and catch more fish this fall. Tight lines, we'll see you on the next one.